Much of the country has seen record snow and cold this fall. Scientists say the sun is nearing what's called solar minimum, which is a low point in solar activity. So is there a correlation between a calm sun and a cold earth? Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen explains. This is video of the sun that I shot today. Notice the even and unblemished orange surface. No sunspots, which appear when the sun's magnetic field is active. In fact, the sun has been relatively spot free for more than a year, an indication that it's nearing solar minimum. The number of spots waxes and wanes over the course of about 11 years. Scott McIntosh is the director of the High Altitude Observatory and currently the interim director of all NCAR. He says we are about 10 years into the current sunspot cycle, which even at its peak in 2014 was the weakest in nearly one hundred years. So it's been trending down by about 25% per decade. And now we have a Colorado high country benefiting from a cold and snowy fall, the most early season snow cover across North America in 50 years, and global temperatures dropping slightly over the past two years. Those are the kind of numbers that have been fueling speculation that a lack of solar activity is responsible for a cooling earth. You got to be really tread really carefully on when when you're talking about it because it's not widely accepted in the scientific community that that's real. McIntosh says the sun's energy only varies by about 0.1% at max, not enough to change weather, but he says its magnetic energy could impact weather more than we think. We just don't know enough about it to draw conclusions, though he says he won't completely disregard some of the data correlation between cold winters and solar minimums. If the commercial guys that are making money off this are noticing these empirical relationships between weather and solar activity, then maybe there's something to it. In Boulder, I'm meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for next. I like that dude's accent. I can hear him talk about the sun all day. McIntosh says we should hit true solar minimum sometime during 2019, but it could take longer and some computer models show the next sunspot cycle could be even weaker than this last one.